I wrote this play in 1992, which was part of the whole festival. When the opportunity came to rewrite the play, I, I uh, uh, went to see Joe in a play, and I, I've seen Chauvin on lots of things, and I thought it was time to relook at the play, because I wrote it 20, 22 years ago. Joe, how are rehearsals going for April in Paris? Marvellously, absolutely. <laughs> The legend that is John Godber. It's marvellous, actually. I mean, it, it's in my career, it's not always been a happy situation working with writer directors, but John really, really has got a handle on it. And we feel like that. We feel we're in safe hands, I think. We are in safe hands. Al is a redundant builder, frustrated at his redundancy. There's nothing, no work around where he, he lives. Uh, he's been cooped up in the house now for nine months and it's getting to him a little bit. I'm not getting the Metro. No way. I don't like it. You've never been on it. But I don't like small spaces. Our house is a very small space. Not on the ground though, is it? I bet it's bold and brassy. She takes no prisoners. Mm. She certainly doesn't take him as a prisoner, do you? No, absolutely. And uh, she just gives as good as she gets, basically. For me, it's about the paradox of travel. We, we all want to go away, and the further we go, the more frustrated we are when we come home. And uh, that, that seems to be part of the wonderlust that we're always searching for the new Xanadu. And for Alan Bett, Paris is the start. You look really nice, Al. Huh? You look nice. Eh? Hey. Hey. What? Look at us in Paris. <laughs> He loves his wife, but they're in a constant fight. He loves his wife and... He loves his wife and Thank they're in a... You. OK, see, see when it's like getting like a husband and wife already. It's just like this, really. <laughs> they should come and see April in Paris, because it's bloody brilliant. It is, it's very funny. It's very funny, very real. Uh, and she's in it. He's in it. There you go. Tall one. All right. <laughs>